Good morning. Welcome to the Rocky and Kenny V Sign Show. I decided to call it that. I don't know. But I'm going to let people load up. Load up and then we're going to do a lesson that you can do at home. All my lessons are stuff that you can do at home with your own stuff. But you have to probably go buy this one thing. So I'm going to make sure you got it. Rocky, what are you doing? Rocky? Rocky's got a squirrel over there. So, uh, um, and if he brings a ball, he's going to knock down all my science stuff here. And he's, so we don't want that because then that will ruin this whole lesson. It all gets knocked over. It'd be really funny, but that's live TV. TV as if it is. Today, we're going to talk about acids and bases. Acids and bases. Well, we have certain things in our, our lives that are acidic. Acidic is usually kind of sour tasting. And then we have basic, which is, and you've heard about acids, you, oh, the Phantom of the Opera got acid thrown in his face. Well, you know what? Acid is not as dangerous as base. Bases are more dangerous. So we have a little scale for them from zero to 14. And uh, acid zero to seven, seven is neutral. So usually distilled water. The water out of your tap probably is maybe a six or something, up to 14, which is a very strong base. So you've got acids and bases all throughout your body. And your body, and you think, so a base, when you dissolve something, and I've got stuff here I dissolved, um, like I took a plop, plop, fizz, fizz, antacid, and I threw it in here. When a thing dissolves, like if you have salt water, it breaks, like salt water is sodium chloride, Na and Cl. And when they go into a solution, those little things called ions, which are positive and negative, go out. Now an acid has an OH, sorry, a base has an OH, OH negative. Acids have hydrogen ions floating around. Now, if they go together, they make H2O, because there's two hydrogens and oxygen. That's a whole different lesson, and that, that becomes this. So if you get burnt by an acid, you throw a base on it. If you get burnt by a base, you throw an acid on it and try to neutralize it to make it into water. So you're going to need red cabbage. You might not have it at home, so put it on your grocery list. Bug the people around the house. I want some. You'll make coleslaw after it. But what you do is, you see, I've chopped some of it up. I chopped it, and I put it into boiling water, and I boiled it. And then I made this little solution. Now it comes out and it stinks. That's the fun part about it too. People say cabbage usually uh, influences them in one of my later lessons that everybody loved about poofing. And this stuff kind of stinks. But it's got a pretty color. This one is kind of a deep purplish color. So every time I say deep purple, I have to go dun, 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 dun. So this is my purple cabbage indicator. Now, we have an indicator paper that you might use in your aquarium to find out if your aquarium water is really good for your fish. And you, that is a pH, and this is a pH scale, is at zero to 14. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna try it out and see what happens. Now, here's a little scale. They, they, they say that if it's pH of two, it turns red. So this purple stuff will change color. And it's purple about four, it's violet. Um, I'm a guy, so the difference between purple and violet, I think that's blue. And then blue is eight, so uh, you know they have never, we don't even have to do Roy G. Biv. And then, and then I'll have Maddie trying to figure out how to spell that. But anyway, um, I am repping both of my, my ex schools. Um, see, uh, this, is, this is Roseland, my, my, hopefully my classroom makes um, some little beverage I like. And, and, and this is New Norway. This is more hopefully my water. So let's try this out. Let's try water first of all. So I've got them here because last time I did one, I turned the camera around. I had to fire my cameraman, so it's just me. So we take some of our indicator and we pour it into the water and we see now this is pretty deep color but look at this ooh pretty so water should be around our seven six or seven and notice that might be the violet color ooh, okay so I got a bunch of different stuff here um, what do I got here baking soda baking soda 
Now, it dissolves. This is a solid, so you have to dissolve it. And the best is to use clear, colorless liquids. Don't throw Coke down because Coke is already dark. Maybe you can try one of the clear pops like Sprite or ginger ale, see what's going on. But you have to dissolve it. So baking soda, let's see what baking soda does. Yeah. Look at that. That is a different color. That's over, that's over to a greenish color, to blue. So this, this we're gonna put to, to the basic side. Lemon, actually, this is lime. I put a little bit of lime juice in there and I poured some water and we'll see what it's like. Ooh, it's kind of a pinky, pink. This is going into our acid area. Now I'm gonna let this one soak. I got a sour candy here. So, so what do you do is, well, I can't just pour that on there. All that white stuff over top of your, your candy is what makes it sour. So I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna put that there and I'm gonna let it dissolve for a while. Let's see what happens when we use vinegar. Vinegar. Ooh. Vinegar goes, just goes into the acid side. Uh, soap. So I took a little bit of soap that we've been washing our hands with repeatedly here. And it goes into the purplish area. That's a base. And you know why, you know why soaps are basic? Because if a base is burning you, a base reacts with animal fat to make soap. So if you get burnt, it goes underneath your skin and it starts making soap and then you put something on the top you can't that's why it's the worst burn ever as a base so we make soap antacid this was this is a tums so i took a tum and i put it in there it's not very clear colorless maybe i'll add a little bit more water to it you know well oh that made it even worse but anyway this is what you take when you have too much acid in your stomach so it's an antacid, so it's probably a base. I'm gonna take a guess at a base. And there's, it's, you can see it's kind of purplish, but there's the reason why you should use something clear colorless. Okay, let's try out our sour candy. Our sour candy, it should have dissolved. All those white things on there. Ooh, look at that, it's over here. That's acetic acid. That's that white stuff all over your sour candy is acetic acid. But look at the pretty colors. This is this is just pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, oh, ooh. This is one. This is a dangerous one. So I've got yeah, Rocky. That it stinks. So you love this stuff. So I'm gonna see what this is. Now notice this one's green. Green is probably gonna go to your scale of 13 or 14. This is a very strong base. This is this is one you probably won't be doing. I don't even tell you what it is, but it's right there. That's a very strong base, right, Rocky? This stuff stinks. Okay, so what would happen if you started to take an acid and a base, and you mix them together? That should be neutralization. They should have a reaction and make water. So let's see what I've got here. I've got the antacid, and I got this. So I have to go over here. I have vinegar and baking soda. <laughs> we'll hold off on those two. But let's say I take uh, lemon and soda. Change the pH a little bit. There's my water. Uh, this lemon is really bothering me. Oh. Sure, don't react. Well, it didn't, but we should have went back to neutral. Maybe I'll throw some antacid in the, in the, this. Yeah, see, look, my sour candy was giving me heartburn, they call it. And now I'm taking it back to normal, making it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you could try anything in your house. Don't try bodily fluids. I know there's boys in the house right now going, eh, no, 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 no. So if it's, try, try some stuff, see what they are. And then you can actually, like, look at this. Look at the colors I have here. This is, this is just, this is just so colorful and pretty and pretty and everything. And baking soda and vinegar. Let's, let's see. There's my baking soda. And there's my soap and vinegar. 
Let's see what happens if we try these two together. My baking soda is right there. And I got my vinegar. I wonder what color it will turn. And it's bubbling. Bubbling. Maybe add a little bit more. Just go like this and... And I make a mess. Ooh. Forms bubbles. That might be another lesson. Acids and bases going together. Maybe chemical reactions. I don't know, but there's a lot of fun stuff to do. So you might, if you don't have it, this will. This lesson is going to be on YouTube. Right, Rocky? We'll put it on YouTube. Come here. We're going to put it on YouTube. So if you don't have this, so when you finally do get this, you can do this lesson and build this stuff at home. So when you're ordering your groceries and it's coming in and being delivered, uh, just purple cabbage. I don't think a lot of people buy it. A lot of people aren't eating a lot of coleslaw right now. But uh, try that out, uh, and we'll see you some other time. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye-bye.